Today, I wanna to share with you some of our favorite homeschool resources that we are loving right now. And I've got a really cool giveaway opportunity for you that you do not wanna miss. I love hearing about what other homeschoolers are using and loving, and so I thought it'd be fun to share with you some of the things that we are loving right now in our homeschool. So let's jump in. There will be links in the description below for all of the things that I'm gonna be talking about today. A few of these links are affiliate links, but no one is sponsoring this video or paying me to share them with you. They are just things that we use and love. The first thing that I wanted to share with you, a supplemental thing that we have done in our homeschool are subscription boxes. Subscription boxes boxes are a great way to kind of add some extra um, activities or resources that can go along with your homeschool to kind of supplement the things that you might be doing in a normal daily basis. There are a few of them that we have used and loved over the years. One of them is Tinker Crate, which is by KiwiCo. They are super fun. Each month it comes with a box with some activity and the kids take turns each time a new box comes, either completing it themselves or working together to build whatever is in the kit. So that has been a lot of what we have done kind of for science and engineering. This is the Tinker Crate, which is more engineering focused, but there are a ton of different other STEM type kits that you can get that are really fun to do. Another fun one, which I'm actually really excited about, we just found this kit and it it is called Artsa. The Artsa box connects you to the people and the places in the Bible by giving you handcrafted items, different foods or spices, arts and crafts things, as well as games or activities and uh, information about the artisans that handcrafted all of the products here in this box. It has been really fun to learn about different regions of the Bible through a hands-on interactive approach that this box gives you. Artsa sent me this box to share with you and I am excited for you because they have offered to do a giveaway of this exact box to one of my subscribers here on YouTube. So if you're interested in winning one of these boxes for yourself, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where I will share with you the rules on how to enter. If you want to sign up for the Arts of Box, you can get 25% off your subscription using the coupon code Aaron25 and there will be a link for that in the description below. Another one that we use is Knowledge Crates, and this is really fun, especially for preschool and earlier elementary. It's a really hands-on, fun activity pack that comes with all kinds of different craft projects, science experiments, lessons, coloring things, all kinds of activities for younger kids to work on. Those have been really fun. The next thing that I wanna share with you that we have really loved in our homeschool is World Watch News. World Watch is basically a 10 minute or so news recap every single weekday. Our kids have really enjoyed sitting down and watching a news highlight reel. Um, it's a great way to incorporate some current events into your home. It is told from a Christian's perspective, so they always remind you that no matter the news, the purpose of the Lord will prevail. And this is an app that you can get either on your phone or we have it set up on our smart TV also. You can get a free one week trial to see if it's gonna be a good fit for you. And then after that, it is $6.99 a month. I feel like it's definitely worth it as something that has added some good value to our homeschool, something that I don't have to prepare. I can sit back and enjoy with the kids as well. And you can earn a whole year free for yourself if you refer six or more people that convert to a uh, membership. So I have a link for that in the description below. I'd love it if you wanted to sign up, if you help me out through that link so I could earn a free year too, that would be awesome. The next thing that I wanted to share with you is the curriculum that we are actually using Using, which is a gentle feast and I have really been enjoying a gentle feast myself because it is a Charlotte Mason curriculum that covers all of the subjects except for math still allowing us to use the Charlotte Mason approach which is something that I really love to do it has all of the lesson plans laid out for me it has made our lesson planning a lot easier for me to not have to worry about how much to read or what to read when it has all of those things laid out for me so I can 
just copy and paste the assignments into my kids' individual binders. I also really like that our kids are all learning about the same kind of subject simultaneously, even though they might be reading different level assignments or different level books um, as part of their lesson plan. And I love that being a Charlotte Mason curriculum, the kids are actually reading all of their lessons on their own, so I'm not teaching anything, <laughs> which is also great. It frees me up to spend a little bit more time with my six-year-old um, who's in first grade level. She can't quite read all of this stuff on her own yet, so I'm able to work with her while my older kids are working on their individual lessons. Another thing that I'm loving that kind of goes along with our curriculum is incorporating a book of centuries into our homeschool. And we have done this in the past, but not in this format. I actually found these history timeline notebooks. I talked about them in my day in the life video that I posted a few weeks ago. A book of centuries is a timeline notebook essentially where your kids are writing in there all the people and places and events in history that have happened that they learn about in their schooling. This book is something that they work on over the years. So I have one of these for each of my kids and they will continue to add to it every year all the way through their homeschooling experience. So I love how this is laid out. Each double page spread covers a decade. I love how it has all of the, the dates written out on here so your kids can just add on events that they have learned about. And then as we learn about different things, even in like science or geography, it kind of makes history be able to connect as you learn about different things from different times and places together. These come in a whole bunch of different colors. So our kids all have a different color. So it's easy for them to see whose is whose on the shelf. And going along with history, another thing that I want to share with you is um, a couple of books that we have really enjoyed from DK Publishing. It's one of our favorite book publishers out there because they are so interactive and visually just beautiful and fun to look at. This one is The History of Britain, which we are studying this year, um, like the medieval ages. Every year I like to buy one or two of these DK books that kind of go along with some of the things that we're gonna be learning about that year. And this has been a great fit. I love these because they have photographs of actual um, historical artifacts, artwork. Um, the, the pages are just laid out where it's really easy to look and learn just kind of things at a snapshot. They're a lot more interesting uh, to read than a textbook, but you're getting the same information that you'd be getting in a textbook. So our kids love to pick these books up and leaf through them even while they're eating lunch or just sitting around reading the little bits and pieces that catch their eye. So this has been a great fit. And along with that, another one that I really like is this History of the World Map by Map book, also by DK. This one is really cool because it shows you all the historical maps of things that have taken place at different time periods in the world. This helps you kind of have a better frame of reference when you're learning about historical events to see how the world World was viewed at that particular time or where the country boundary lines were different. These two books have been a great addition to our homeschool that we have really been enjoying this year. Another thing that I have actually shared about a few different times on my channel, but in case you haven't seen them, I wanted to share again. And that is these um, maps that are actually uh, laminated place mats of the world. So one side is a blank outline map and then the flip side shows you all the names and major cities of the countries. And so this is what we use for geography. We are doing it Europe this year. They have them for all the different continents. So we did Asia last year, we have that one. The year before that, we worked on the United States. My kids still pull them out occasionally and go through to see if they remember them. So basically we work on these with wet erase markers where they just label the states or the names of the countries that they remember while we're working on it and then they can flip it over and double check the back side to see if they got it correct. We have loved these for years and years and years. So make sure you check these out if you are looking for a different way to incorporate some geography into your homeschool. Another thing that I actually recently found out about is um, thrift books, <laughs> which you're probably like, duh, Erin, I've known about thrift books forever, which I have too. <laughs> I've ordered through books through thrift books for quite some time, but I did not realize they actually had a teacher 
teacher discount program that you as a homeschooler can participate in. All you have to do is upload a teacher ID. If you don't already have a homeschool ID card, you can get one by having a membership with the HSLDA, they will send you one, or you can get a free one yourself that you can download through the Homeschool Buyers Club. You can just enter your information online and then download the PDF and upload that picture to the Thrift Books website. Then you are eligible to get the teacher discount. If you purchase four books, then your fifth one is free within a particular order, which is really, really cool. I love Thrift Books because when we homeschool, we buy a lot of books and it is great to find them used if we can to save some money every year. The other cool thing about it is that they have a reading reward program on top of the teacher program. With the reading program, you can earn a free book for every certain amount of dollars that you spend um, on thrift books. And they do also have a referral program as well where if you refer someone and they order $30 worth of product within their first order, they get a free book and you get a free book as well. So if you're interested again in signing up for thrift books, I have my referral link in the description below. I would love it if you would sign up through my link. Let's help each other out and earn some free books. <laughs> the last thing that I'm going to share that my son actually made sure that I was going to put this on there and that is Hillsdale courses that are available to you for free online. This is a great resource if you have high school kids or if you yourself are interested in some college level introductory kind of video courses that are free online. It's a great resource for homeschool families and it is a privately funded college that does not have any financial input from the government or anything like that so they are very independent courses. They have 36 different courses that about history and politics, philosophy, religion, literature, economics. Most of them are eight to 10 lessons. And then it will have a quiz at the end. If you complete the quiz, then they you can get a printable um, certificate of completion kind of thing. My son has been going through these, actually he's done two, I think over Christmas break. And so we're gonna put those little certificates in his school folder for this year to show some of the supplemental things that he's been doing. Definitely take advantage of that if any of you are older kids or yourself are interested in learning more about politics and government and that kind of thing. I would love to hear from you though. What are some of the resources that you use in your homeschool that you love? Will you share that in the description below? I'm sure that there are other people that might be watching this that would love to get some more ideas as well. If you are interested in winning this Artsa box for yourself, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below. It will take you to the giveaway raffle entry. There is no purchase necessary to win but there are a couple of things that you do need to do. One of them being following Artsa either on Facebook or Instagram. And then once you do that, there are a couple other bonus entries if you wanna do some other things as well. This giveaway is in no way sponsored or endorsed or promoted by YouTube and it is given away completely by Artsa. The giveaway will run until January 8th at 11.59 p.m. and then a winner will be contacted via email within the week. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.